the Gunstock War Club. If you've seen Last of the Mohicans, it's one of the more interesting looking weapons that stands out in the film. But what is it? This was a weapon used specifically by Native Americans named, of course, for its resemblance to a musket or rifle's wooden stock. These weapons have been found throughout northeastern America, amongst the eastern woodland and plains tribes, such as the Lakota, during the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. It's not completely known why these weapons became so common. A dominant theory is Native Americans, just as Europeans did, used their muskets as natural clubs once their shot was spent but this would often destroy a cheaply built trade musket. A club that resembled a musket and was made of solid wood could both act as a more durable bludgeon and give a psychological advantage. An enemy from afar might think a man was armed with a musket or even multiple muskets and not just a club. These clubs may have also evolved completely on their own with no influence from Europeans. They do after all make for an efficient weapon outside the resemblance to a musket. These clubs are often made of hard woods like maple, ash, oak, or hickory, or even whalebone was possible. Their weight varied, but with a swing force focused onto a small striking edge, they were extremely lethal. Blades could be flint, horn, or iron. However they came to be, they were deadly and sometimes ornate beautiful weapons. They can still be seen today as part of regalia during Native American ceremonies and powwows. It's also used by practitioners of Okiticha, a martial arts based on Assiniboine and Plains Cree Indian fighting techniques. All right, I'm Johnny. Thanks for watching this small brief on the Gunstock War Club. I hope to see you in the next video.